moved to Epic Catfish began in 1963 when my parents got married. I was born in 69 and I was a lot like other kids. I liked dinosaurs, had a dog, drank straight out of the garden hose, was always the cowboy, and always building stuff. But even back then, my favorite thing to do was scrounge around the local creek and catch anything that wiggled, especially fish. My parents took us fishing and camping a lot back then and it stuck. I fished any and every chance I got growing up and catching gigantic catfish I'd heard stories of was always on my mind. We didn't live on a river and the closest shot I had at catching a real catfish was three miles one way by bike. But you could do that back in those days. I made that epic voyage every chance I got. Later, I did the usual high school stuff when you live in a small Midwestern town. Football, friends, and a good time. Most days, when we weren't bailing hay or working horses, we fished when none of us really knew what we were doing. After years of shore fishing, I bought my first boat even before I could legally drive. I soon began a trek of catfishing knowledge. Gravel pits and ponds soon led to fishing rivers, big and small. I watched every show on catfishing there was and read everything I could get my hands on. I found out most catfishing info back then lacked real hands-on experience. Being the science nut I was, coupled with the absolute love of finding and catching huge catfish, I did all kinds of theorizing and real studies on the behavior of big catfish. At my job at a local furniture manufacturing plant, I opted for more time off than a higher salary so I could feed my big catfish addiction. Armed with years of fanatical catfishing and lots of big fish landed from the Rock, Illinois, and Mississippi rivers, I set out to help others catch more and bigger catfish by putting out great information on the web, or interweb as it was called in those days. I started an online magazine called ProCats.com in about 1994 or 5 after I had met other cat fishermen with similar interests during my extensive travels. It was loaded with information from vetted cat fishermen who were valid experts. I began guiding for channel cats on the Illinois and its tributaries and trophy flatheads on the Mississippi. Soon after ProCats was a success, I got offers to go to lots of places such as the Shingu River in Brazil and be on television shows, radio programs, and even appear in books such as Secrets of the Catfish Pros by North American Fishermen. After that, an AFC asked me to be a contributing editor on catfishing and I gladly accepted. I wrote many articles for them over a few years and I married my longtime girlfriend in 1999. Of course, the industrious kid I was, I had way too many irons in the fire and really felt the brunt of life after my first son was born in 2001. The growing furniture factory, my wife and son, ProCats, and AFC, and guiding was needing more and more of my time that I didn't have. God, family, country, community, in that order are my beliefs and I made some tough decisions and moved on. I did summer guide trips on the Mississippi for big flatheads and blues and spring trips for numbers of big channel cats and was booked so solid I slept in the truck at boat ramps sometimes for weeks in a row, May and June in 2006 and 7. As the years went by, I guided less and less, paying great attention to my job, family, and raising my children right but I still went on adventure trips catching giant catfish and taking pictures along the way. My catfishing friends and I weren't really into video in those days, but some old stuff does exist of some legendary catches. The end of this story is the beginning of a new chapter directed by my long-time great friend Sean Liggett, known on YouTube as Catfish Heroes, is the only reason my channel, Epic Catfish, even exists. Ha, 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 ha.